we are discussing select from where into more details. In the previous video, we have discussed basic structure of SQL. So, there also we got one idea that SQL query will be having select from where these three clauses in this order in the query. So, let us go through some example for the better understanding. So, some sample queries are as follows. So for the first query, list the all distinct branch names from the loan relation. So, here loan is having loan number, branch name and amount. So, three attributes are there. So, I am requiring to display distinct branch names from the loan relation. So, the query will be like this, select distinct B name from loan. So, in this way, I can get the distinct list. That means, if a branch name has got repeated for multiple number of times in the output that will come once. But in the second query where we, are, we have replaced this distinct by the word all, so select all branch name from loan. So, here we are allowing duplication of branch names in the output. So, if a branch name has got repeated twice, then in the output also that very branch name will be coming twice. Next one, select account number branch name comma balance star 1.06 from account where balance between 90,000 and 1 lakh. So, this is the query. So, what is the query? The query, if you want to write the query in English, then it will be something like this. List account number branch name and adding 6% interest to the balance from the account relation for those accounts having got balance in between 90,000 to 1 lakh. So, in this way the query has been written. So, here we have written one algebraic expression with the select clause that is balance into 1.06. In this way also we can go for subtraction or addition or division or something like that. So, here you can go for balance star 1.06. So, 6 percent interest is getting added with the balance. And where balance between 90,000 and 1 lakh can also be written in this way, where balance greater than or equal to 90,000 and balance less than or equal to 1 lakh. So, that is another way to write the same thing, but that is a very smarter way to write. So, where balance between this and that. So, this is our third query we have discussed. Let us go for the another query. Select C name comma loan dot loan number comma amount from borrower comma loan. So, let me come to the borrower and loan at first. So, borrower is having this customer name and loan number and loan is having this loan number branch name and amount. Here you find that this loan number is common between this borrower and loan. Now, the thing is that as we are writing two relation names after from in the previous video also we have discussed that these two relations are getting joined by the Cartesian product. That means, these two relations are getting joined by the Cartesian product. That means, they are getting related through the Cartesian product operation. So, it will produce all possible combinations of tuples between the borrower and the loan as we have written them after from. So, if I want to get the feasible tuples where the borrower's loan number will be same as the loan's loan number. So, that is why we have written where borrower dot l a n o is equal to loan dot l n o. So, in this way we are getting only those tuples where the respective two columns loan number will remain the same will become the same. Also, we are attaching another condition that is using and. So, that is branch name is equal to Pune. So, here we are looking for the Pune branch only and branch name is equal to Pune. So, this is our condition product and here we are getting only the feasible tuples where the loan numbers are same and this branch name is equal to Pune is another condition we are including in the predicate and we require to get the column outputs as the customer name and this loan number. Now, the thing is that LNO is common between both loan and borrower as I told you earlier. So, borrower is having LNO and this loan is also having LNO. So, here this C name can only come from borrower because loan does not have the C name only borrower is having the C name. So, instead of writing C name, I can also write borrower dot C name. So, that will also work. In case of amount, you can see that loan is having amount, but borrower does not have any amount field. 
So instead of writing amount, I can also write loan dot amount. So there is no ambiguity because that attribute is coming from one relation only. But here this LNO, it is coming from both the relations, they are loan and the respective borrower. So I should be mentioning explicitly that from which relation, from which table we are taking this loan number as output. So that is why we have written borrower dot loan number. The thing is that as this particular condition is there under the where clause, so here if you write borrower dot loan number, then also I will be getting the same output because borrower dot loan number is equal to loan dot loan number was one of the uh, predicates, one of the conditions in our condition set under where clause. So, in this way we have discussed that how this select, how the from, how, how where can have the different uh, arguments we can pass. They are not arguments actually we are writing the different expressions we are passing. So, this is our where clause, from clause and select clause. So, I think now you are getting this idea and in the next videos we will be discussing more on SQL. Please watch all of them and thanks for watching this one.